Morning, boys. Morning. Day two. How's everyone feeling about yesterday? Good. It was fun. Good. Yeah. I reckon we rocked it. We got yeah. through it. Uh, you two straight away, rear drawers. You can yep. get cracking straight on that. So what we want to get through today, leftovers from yesterday's, rear drawers all fitted out and in. Mount the canopy, we want to get the compressor and the batteries all mounted up and we want to get the snorkel on, yeah? Sam, you should probably get to the stage today that we start actually fitting gear, right? Yep. BCDC, BCDC, second battery, all that sort of stuff. start getting all that sort of stuff in. All right, Steve's on the Red Bulls already, so yeah. you're going to be on fire. But <laughs> I might see if I can pinch you for the rest of the day, I'll have a talk tonight. Yeah? Cool, I'm down. Let's get it done. Yep, Into it, day two. Easy. So the first task this morning is fitting the rear drawers. So I'm just reading over the fitting instructions to see how it all goes and what all these pieces do. These things actually go together real easy. Yeah. It is like, exactly like putting a Lego set together, just a little bit bigger. Yeah, so far all we've needed is um, a 13mm ratchet and a 4mm allen. Done. Easy. Da -da -da -da. Talk it exhaust. Inside these, the, the box, the kit is so straightforward. Like I said, everything's stainless steel, everything is manual bent, it's a precision fit, and they just bolt straight up to any vehicle that you choose the kit for. Inside of this kit though, so this is the full pack, this also comes with uh, a power module. Now talk it tune all of these exhausts and uh, map all of these modules specifically for the vehicle that you install them in. Effectively what that uh, pedal torque module is doing is it's bringing the power in earlier in the rev range and it is so noticeable on every single vehicle that we fitted this kit to. So I'm expecting the D-Max is going to be no different. We'll get this stuff out of the box in, in a minute and you'll see the difference between the factory stuff, you know, the mild steel uh, zinc plated stuff compared to the stainless steel exhaust. The other big advantage is the sound. Hey, Steve, Steve loves noise. I do. About 10 minutes. What's 10 minutes? Take all that off, that's all you need. Oh, okay, and 10 minutes to take all that off. One of the best features about this one is you actually have a towing mode, a performance mode, and it also has a self learn mode. So if you're like me, you've got a big heavy foot, it'll adjust the way you drive, and it'll give you better throttle response off the lights so you can beat anyone else in a dual cab. I will admit, as much as wiring can be tedious and annoying, it is very, very therapeutic and rewarding once it's all done. It makes you feel good. Modex draw system uh, from TJM. First time we fitted it. Good thing about these, I think the usable space that's going to be on the underside of the canopy. Now, because we've chosen the canopy to go on top of this, having that big volume of area inside, it restricts you to being able to pack gear and put stuff where you want. So a rear set of drawers is a really good idea. These will hold 150 kilos each uh, per drawer. You can get slides on top for fridges and all the rest of it, which we might end up doing uh, later on down the track with our camera car, but it's going to give us a, a really good space to deck out the inside, or whoever wins the competition actually, to deck out the inside however they like it. Check them out. All galvanised construction, punch, laser cut, all inserted, big roller bearings, really well constructed uh, drawers kit. Have a look at them. Wing start. How are you looking? <laughs> winch is in. Yeah, winch is Almost. in. Almost. Control box time. Yep. Um, this is actually a pretty good fitment because Looks like an easy in one. this case, the, the winch will sit on. Yep. The control box can stay with the winch, nice and simple. Yep. Bolt there, it'll fit around the outback bar. Um, and that, there's a big advantage right there, eh? And that's something probably people don't yeah. consider a lot is fitting brands of products that come from the one supplier. TJM winch, TJM bar. It's going to be the simplest installation that you yeah, can probably do. Correct. Right? TJM 12,000 pound winch. If you watch the show, you watch Patriot Games, we put these things through hell. Don't we? Yeah. Through absolute hell. Yeah. And honestly, I've never ever had one fail on me. 
But as far as uh, synthetic rope, 12,000 pounds, gearing works perfectly in them. Uh, the remotes are bulletproof, the remote yeah. controls, absolutely yeah. bulletproof. You're still on the originals in the I'm still truck. on the originals in the black truck, put it that way. I'm still on the original winches in the black truck. I've replaced the, uh, the rope a couple of times. Yeah. And that's a big thing with winches when it comes to winches, guys. Make sure when you get back from a big trip, always clean the synthetic rope out. String them right out, give them a good gurney, and most importantly, let them dry before you, you run them back in. Yeah. Okay? Good tip. Yeah. PJM, 12,000 pound winch. I don't need to say any more about it. Watch the show, Patriot Games. You'll know how good these things are. It's just gone on 10.30 on day two of the build, and to be honest with you, I think I've really underestimated uh, what's involved with the wiring job. So I've just called in Joe from Super Tours. Joe's our resident electrician here, works with Sam really closely. The two of the boys, here he is, he's just rolled up. The two of the boys are gonna get onto this together. Thanks for coming up, mate. Super Tour team down at Patriot HQ. I know I'm gonna get into a lot of trouble next week, and especially when I start jumping up and down about, why didn't we dispatch enough for January? Everybody's yeah. gonna be like, your fault because you're building the day now. <laughs> yeah? Exactly. What we're gonna do, uh, Joe, what I'm gonna get you on to, man, is uh, getting everything wired up for the canopy, all the red art gear installed, yeah? Yes. And there's something I've prepared earlier, something brand new. So I've been working with the design team down at Patriot HQ. This is what we're gonna use, man. This is what we're gonna mount. So, we know, trust, use all of this gear in all the Super True builds, all of the Patriot builds. We have all the CAD for everything. So what they've done is they've, uh, the boys have modeled me up this to, to take all of the Red Art gear. So I'm gonna go TBMS in store. All the airbag controls are gonna, gonna go in here. Oh, yeah. Twin uh, USB, SIG, uh, inverter, TBMS module, BMS in the front, okay? And I'll, I'll come with me and I'll just quickly show you where we're gonna install all of this gear. So where this is mounting, Joe, it's pretty much in that position right there. So when you open the canopy door, yeah, you've got access to all of the power here, all your breakers are gonna be on the side there. Yep. And then that's gonna be a really nice, neat install and doesn't impede on anything at the back there. So if you can pre-wire everything, uh, have a quick catch up with Sam about where he's at. Yep. Battery's gonna sit, uh, live in the back yeah, here. So we've already run all of that through and um, it's really the canopy is going to be self-sufficient. Yeah, so there's going to be no interaction with the cab on this build. Okay. Which should make it a little bit easier, but there's, yep. there's a fair bit there to go. Yep, cool. Cool? Legend. And that's the joys of having multiple staff, I suppose. Everybody <laughs> knows what they're doing. And look, the big advantage of what we do, having our own lasers, our own powder coating, our own press brakes, this was designed and manufactured yesterday, in one day. Uh, by Harrison, one of the young engineers here, and uh, it's going to make the install, going to make Joe's job much, much easier. Let's get into it. How are we looking? Yeah, good. We done? Yep. Is this yeah, the one finished? Yep. yep. Well done now. Awesome. How long's that taken? Like three hours? Yeah, about that. They look really, really good. How practical is that? We've never had rear drawers. No. Never. Ever. Yeah. This is the first for any sort of Patriot build, rear drawers. We've never done them yeah. before. I mean, my brother's got rear drawers in his truck. I've never owned anything with rear drawers, but that whole platform sitting up on top, um, they just, it looks the part. So when we get through it a little bit later on, we're going to have air compressors coming through here. Batteries are going to get on there. But the thing I'm most excited about right now, let's fit the canopy. Yeah? Yes. Now, I was actually at the Aero Class factory in December 2017 in Thailand, and I got to see where these were made and how they're made. Um, they're an ABS plastic, and I was literally bouncing up and down on top of one of these things like a trampoline and could not break it. So you actually order it in, you order the canopy for the vehicle specific, uh, pre-painted in the colour that you want, let them know the paint code, um, and they're all colour matched, ready to go. An hour and a half to put this thing on, it's gonna transform the whole look of this truck. This is gonna be, um, this is gonna be the biggest transformation that I think you're gonna see during this build series. I'm actually really excited about this.
Uh, Steve will get this bolted down now. The twins will finish up the accessories in the back. So getting the battery mounted in, getting the air compressor mounted in. Hopefully Joe will be at the stage today that he can mount the faceplate there with all of the Red Arc gear. Um, if we can get that in today, I'd be stoked. Um, today's going really well. We're on track. It's only just past lunchtime. Um, I'm really confident by tomorrow this thing is going to be done. Bar's on. Um, really, really happy with this bar. I really got to say the lines, we were just discussing it before, but the lines following the whole front, um, really cool. The way all the, all the headlights on modern vehicles, if you can see behind me now, all the headlights kind of dip down like this. So what you end up with is this, you know, this big curve on the sides of the bar. Personally, I don't like it. 79 series cruiser, 200 series cruiser, ram truck, they've all got very flat bonnets. And if you ever notice, the grill at the front and the headlights are all in line, so you can get a nice clean hoop on the bull bars. This is form over whatever that's, however that saying goes, I can't even, can't even remember. The functionality behind this, it's those hoops are there to do a specific job. And that job is to protect the headlight. Look, styling, shape, typical TJM, fits, fits the truck, goes with the modern day vehicles. I love the design of the bar. Apparently what I'm working on is the side brush bars. They're really good to protect this whole fender in case like you're in a ditch or anything and it just ridges up the whole package. These are pretty easy to fit. All you gotta do is just bolt them in the side there and then with these two clamps, just clamp onto the bull bar like that. Are you comfortable drilling this or what? Um, I don't mind. Yeah? Yeah. Well, that's a yes. That's a yes to me. All right, so the trick is here. You need to make sure that the drill bit stays nice and even all the way through. Yeah. This is going to be interesting. <coughs> but what I've done is I've set that drill bit that he can't go all the way through and come out the other side and hit the car. It's only a real short drill bit, so he'll be fine. One done, two more to go, then the other side. All right, you right on your own now? Yep. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, should be. All this LED goodness. So, generally speaking, the combo for me, the ultimate combo for me, is HIDs and LEDs together. Because with HIDs, you get a really long, uh, long burn of light. And with your LEDs, you get a really good uh, spread of clear light. But what we're doing with these ones is we're going with the new X-Ray 220 LEDs. Now, we recently just put a set of these on the black truck, eh? Hey? Yeah, yeah. Super impressed. But one of the things that we do on a lot of our Super Tura builds, and this is a real big safety one for me, is we always fit lights that will project, project light onto the shoulder of the road. Reason for that is, 99.99% of the time, an animal is not going to come at your car head on. Yeah, but when right. we're travelling, you know, late nights and all the rest of it, they come directly from the side. Cutting into a brand new car, it can be so nervous. And if you get something wrong, that's it. You're, like, you're looking out for a new guard. I've done it a few times, done it on a few new cars, but once you do that first mark, you just gotta keep going because you got nothing else to do. So is that getting taped back in the right spot? Yep. I hope so. Because <laughs> you're gonna have a few dramas otherwise. Yeah. Now's where you get to find out if you're um before your holes lining up. Baby? Yeah, it's got another ba Baby's coming? I've just got another email. Dude, good luck. Message. Yeah, good luck. Go, go do what you gotta do. Yeah. Let us know, we'll all meet you at the, at the hospital. So, Steve is actually running out the door right now. His uh, wife is, is due for a baby right now, and even from last weekend, he's told us it could come any moment. Uh, she texted him a couple of hours ago and said she was starting to get some cramps, so she's having con uh, contractions right now. She's on the way to the hospital, he's going straight to the hospital, super exciting stuff. We might have a D-Max baby during the build, and we're going to call it the D-Max baby. We're going to call it the D-Max baby? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Steve's having a D-Max baby. Congratulations, Steve. Congratulations. We'll see how it goes.
How are we looking? Done? Ram ready to go. Finished. Yep. Done. What's quite a fitting time, Snorkel? Uh, it's no fitting time, three hours. Pretty much bang on, eh? And especially yeah. considering it's the first one. First first one and still on, on time. Yep. And this That's is awesome. This has been really surprising, this whole build. Mm. What's really surprised me is all the quoted fitted times from all of the suppliers. And there's no BS, you guys are saying that happened sort of real time. Yeah. <coughs> Pretty much everything has been bang on what's been quoted. And the, yeah. I mean, look, experienced guys, they've done this stuff before, we got the right tools, mm. but first time any any of you guys have touched the D-Max. D-Max, yeah. yeah? How are you guys looking? Good. We wrap it up? Yeah. We call it a day? Because oh, I reckon if we all go to the board right now, we're, we're exactly where we want to be, eh? Yeah? yeah? Let's close this bonnet down. Come over to the board. Come and have a look over here. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Yeah. All right. Um, front bar complete. Bar work complete. So this was our task list for today. Rear drawers kit. Done. Mount the canopy. Done. <laughs> so it was done. Well, we're, we're exactly where we want to be. No, we do. All right. Cool, thank you, thank you, thank you. And maybe we're gonna have a baby tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey? Maybe we're gonna have a baby. That's it's it might happen. Uh, Stephen Peter, if you're watching, actually you're gonna be watching this back after the little baby comes. Congratulations guys, we're all gonna be thinking about you tonight. Can't wait to get the text message. If you want me down at the hospital, I'll be down there, I'll love little babies and I'll be there like sniffing its head and getting that new smell. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part about a new baby. T-Max build, day two is done. Day three tomorrow, we're gonna to wrap this thing up and we're gonna go, we're gonna go rolling in the brand new D-Max tomorrow. That's the plan. Let's get yeah, out of here. Awesome. Let's do it. All right, everyone in for a team photo? Everyone, no, no, Dave, a little bit lower. Sam, you come in a little bit more, closer. Just yeah, come like, down a little bit, a little bit closer to Dave. A little, <laughs> little bit more. <laughs> I'm recording, you idiot! This is it, the last story for the day. How good was that? All right, we're calling it a day. The D Max build, day two, is over. And we are exactly where we wanted to be. Exactly where we wanted to be. Really, what we've got left to do now is to get all of the electrical, all the big mechanical stuff is done. And. Everybody to Steve. Steve Mack, who you know from yeah. Patriot Games, yep. he had to leave at about one o'clock today because him and his wife Peter are having a baby. Guys, congratulations. Best of luck. Uh, can't wait to hear from you guys. Yeah. I can't wait to meet little Justin. I'm really <laughs> I'm really looking forward to finally meeting him and being a godparent, guys. I thank you so much. <laughs> See you tomorrow, guys. To celebrate Season 3 of Patriot Games, we're giving you the chance to win the ultimate family touring package worth over $150,000. Enter now to get your hands on a brand new Isuzu D-Max kitted out to handle a Patriot Games adventure using the gear we know and trust. And if that's not enough, you'll also receive a Patriot Campers X2 to tow behind it. Plus, receive a brand new Polaris Ranger for the kids and loads of camping gear. Entries close June 30, 2020. Enter online now at patriotgames.tv.